And uh, the wine, tra uh, wine trail ride. Yes, absolutely. Uh, each year, we've been doing it the last four years, we have our wine trail rides, which are cycling tours to the local wineries, the Windsor-Essex County wineries. And what we normally do is we visit three, up to three wineries, uh, do tastings and tours at each one. Uh, occasionally, we'll stop by at Holiday Beach Conservation Area to, to tour the grounds there. And then we culminate uh, at the final winery and have an all-local meal, uh, uh, usually a three-course meal, all local products, and it is phenomenal, a great time. Do you find that people like to bring their own bikes or do they prefer the tandem bikes? It is a, a combination of both. The tandem bikes are really popular. We usually sell out uh, well before uh, before half the tickets are sold. Um, and yeah, they are very popular, but people usually do bring their own bikes as well. That They're the ones that they're comfortable with. The, the tandem <laughs> takes a little bit to get used to. So it's the scenery with these bikes and a chance to visit our local wineries, which uh, a lot of people say it's an untapped resource and seeing all these different types of uh, products being made right here in our own backyard. Absolutely. Um, I mean, our, the wineries in our region are creating some fantastic products, um, but I mean, we're not as well known as the Niagara region. We're kind of just, you know, people, uh, we're a second thought to a lot of people. Uh, but things like the Wine Trail Ride are really trying to showcase what we have. We've actually won the, uh, the best culinary tourism experience in Ontario for our rides in 2009, and we're actually named Innovator of the Year for the entire Canadian tourism industry in 2010. So it was really shining a light on our region and the products we have to offer. Tell me about how to sign up for this if people in our viewing audience want to hop on their bike and try out these wineries. Sure. Uh, all you have to do is visit winetrailride.ca um, and all the information about each of our rides. We host one ride per month, a uh, set ride, uh, with September and October having two rides. And of course, if you're wanting to bring family and friends, we have personal rides that you can book as well. Now, I have to ask, because you do have a chance to have this wine and the people on their bikes, what do you do if somebody's enjoyed the wine too much? <laughs> well, <laughs> that, that hasn't happened yet. I mean, while the people are enjoying the wine, they haven't enjoyed it too much. But we do have a support vehicle that follows behind. Uh, so any purchases that people make or any bikes that they can't ride anymore can go <laughs> into the vehicle, and then we just drive the, uh, the people around. Tell me about this tandem bike that we have here that we're going to attempt to ride in the next couple of minutes. Well, this, of course, one of our popular tandems. Uh, we have a few of these. Again, they sell out very quickly on our rides, um, and they're very fun. I mean, if you've never experienced it before, I would, I would even recommend just coming out on a ride to try the tandem, because even having conversations with people is a lot more fun on this as well. Okay, let's try doing this on CTV Weather to round out this segment. Here I go. There he goes, arms booming like big wave. Thank you, arms. <laughs> He's on his way on the wine tour.